What's up guys, Tech Notice here, and today I'm going to be comparing iOS 6 to the latest and greatest iOS 11. Now I'm sure some of you guys are at least curious as to see what the last 5 iterations of iOS has given us. Now obviously this is not going to be some kind of hardware or speed test comparison, this is more of a visual thing, just because they are totally different devices. Now this is not going to be a full on speed test as they're totally different devices and the hardware are 5 years, 60 years difference. So this is more of a visual look at what has uh, changed overall. Now the first thing we're going to do is head inside settings to give you guys a look at the operating system. So this is version 11 and this one over here should be version 6. So it's running 6.1.2 at the moment, close enough. And we're going to head back out, let's see some visual changes. So obviously the first one, the most obvious one is the guy that got fired created this design right here. His name is something like Scott Forstall or something, and uh, this one is Johnny Ives' flat design. I really, really like this design, and it matches up with everything else within the phone. Now, the first thing we're going to do is launch up the phone app. As you guys can see, the keyboard is more circular. Things are a little bit more bright, just nice. And over here, we had the darker theme plus the, all the rectangular buttons. The next thing is the multitask. So as you can see, it's gone through many iterations of multitask. With iOS 6, we had this little bottom thing, and this was the first shot at multitasking. It orig originally came with iOS 4, and this is what we had. So to close things off, you just hold it like this, and you get all those little buttons. Hopefully you guys rem remember all this. And swiping over a couple times, you get the volume, and you got some switchers around here. So let's start popping inside some of these stock apps and see some visual changes inside. We'll start off with Maps. So right away you can see that this one has loaded up and the loading up part doesn't matter too much but the search bar and you got some cool destinations right at the bottom. Now you guys know where I, I live. Here we have the search bar right at the top and uh, you have the location button right there. It's just switched up in here just a little bit. So this is not like a super change where you're going back to Google Maps or something like that but still a change. This is the new music. This was the original music. This is Apple Music and this was the original app where you just went onto iTunes and some of you guys probably went onto like LimeWire if you guys can remember that and uTorrent or a bunch of those other things and uh, you know preloaded your device up with them. Here with Apple Music sign up for a subscription blah 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 you guys know what to do. So this is a nice look at the notification center that changed with iOS 6 or iOS 11 sorry. Uh, here when you pull down now you have a lock screen which is quite odd to begin with, um, th we're probably going to have to get used to it. It's uh, it's a change for roughly the new iPhone 8 that's coming out without all the buttons and everything. But here, the, the cool thing is, this is the notification with iOS 6. I can't remember specifically if it came with iOS 4, 5, or 6, but it looks fantastic. This is probably the first time we had notifications on running on a device here. And it's, it gives us some kind of stitching design. I really like that as well. You got stocks running at the top automatically. Whereas this one over here, you got to swipe over to the side. And things are a little bit buggy on iOS 11 right now. But as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. The stocks obvi obviously aren't moving around like this. But notifications would be right down there. Now I'm sure there's quite a bit of change under the hood with both of these devices in terms of their operating systems. But I haven't had too much time fiddling around with them since iOS 6 is pretty much obsolete. Okay guys, so last but not least, we have the App Store. So the App Store has been changed quite a bit with iOS 11. With iOS 6, all the way up until iOS 10, things have been pretty stale. Nothing has really changed. You still have the typical icons or the tabs right at the bottom. You got Features, Top Chart, Search, and Update. You have Genius right in the middle, which I find super useless. Since how, how is the phone going to find an app for you? Like, what you guys want to download? Makes no sense. So they removed that, obviously. Now we have these cards with iOS 11. Now iOS 11 cleaned it up quite a bit. Now you can find your things pretty easy. You have the games and you know app of the day right in front right here. So you can highlight, Apple can highlight what apps are the best right now. You have games, you got apps, updates, and search. So things are pretty narrowed down. You, it seems so much easier. Oh, and if you guys were wondering about Siri, no, this is an iPhone 4, it doesn't have Siri. It has this voice control thing. So that's probably why I, or that is why I didn't compare them with each other. But Voice control works pretty good as well, if you guys can remember this. I can't remember the last time that I popped up voice control, but... I'm not sure I understand. And Siri's going crazy there. But yeah, voice control is still active on iOS 11, you know, all the way from uh, iOS 4, 5, 6. It, it, it go, goes on and on with every single device, but 
who know who knows who still activates them right now. It's pretty useful on this this older phone, iPhone 4, which doesn't have Siri, but you can ask stuff like, hey, what time is it? No match found. Yeah, the, the voice is pretty horrible and doesn't understand what you're saying. But anyways, this is it. Peace out, guys.